As national concern began to develop about fossil fuels, pollution, and other environmental issues, Seattle City Light began some early experimentation with electric vehicles. Unveiled by Seafair Queen Linda Andrews on February 7, 1968, City Light introduced the Electruck, which was an experimental electric-powered utility truck. It was powered by two 1,500-pound lead-acid batteries and used a special recharger which was attached to the vehicle. The Electruck was used effectively at New Halem, and the batteries kept the truck operating the entire workday and charged at night. On an experimental trip between New Halem and Gorge Dam, the truck pulled a full trailer without difficulty and reached an uphill speed of 18 miles per hour. The average fuel requirement was 1.3 kilowatt hours per mile. A sign painted on the truck read, Your bright new future is all electric. Research and development continued into the 1970s. City light photos from 1973 show a prototype electric car made from a modified AMC Gremlin as it's plugged into an electropark a parking meter equipped with an electric charging outlet. The Lighting Department's May 1973 newsletter says of the Electropark, it's a new concept that could alter the function of the parking meter and pave the way for future use of short-range, non-polluting, electric-powered automobiles on Seattle streets. One big drawback to the electric automobile is that it needs to be recharged frequently. Electropark would ease the problem in part by providing electric outlets on each parking meter. For 25 cents per hour, a motorist could park and charge their electric vehicle. Then in 1976, City Light developed an experimental electric mobility system called the RT-1, which could travel up to 75 miles on one charge of its eight six-volt batteries. The four-passenger car was only seven feet long and five feet wide and took up one-fifth the parking space of a typical car from that period. The RT-1 was conceptualized as part of a downtown restricted transportation zone from which most internal combustion vehicles would be barred. City Light envisioned this zone full of electric cars like the RT-1 as a step toward eliminating transportation pollution in the urban core. We know from the 1976 annual report that the prototype was delivered, however what became of the experiment remains unknown.